babes and welcome back to my youtube channel for anyone that's new here my name is angelica i like to do a lot of try on hauls and vlogs here on youtube so if you like this kind of stuff please feel free to subscribe down below i also have links to some other websites uh, where you can get to know me more personally so check them out if you like to do that as well um, i'm very excited for tonight um, i actually take you guys with me to a music festival here in Mexico. I'm in Monterrey uh, and it's gorgeous, beautiful mountains, everything. So I'll take you guys with me to the festival. First, I'm gonna be showing you what I am wearing tonight. Okay, so for anyone that knows about Monterrey this time of year and festival Pal Norte uh, knows that this was not the accurate uh, way to dress. I had no idea. I just met up with some friends. Uh, they didn't tell me how I was gonna dress um, but anyhow let's rewind to how the day started good morning you guys today is travel day I'm just waking up everything is packed and it's time to go on a little adventure have everything set here and we are ready for some travel always comfy always masking up um, everything is packed I am excited to, to go out and travel some and experience Mexico some some more yes I am ready and I was traveling with my ring light. Uh, couldn't really pack it, it was too early, so it didn't fit. I'm actually like really, really, really hungry. Like starving hungry. Um, do I need this? I mean, this is Mexico. It's warm, but it's so cute, but I don't think I need it. I don't need to bring unnecessary stuff. Mm -mm -mm. But I want, I want coffee. You guys know me now. I want coffee. Ready for coffee. That's what I need. Um, so yeah, let's head to the airport. Let's go. And I got picked up by a super nice uh, taxi driver. He actually asked me if I wanted to stop and just have some coffee. It was like he was reading my mind. I didn't even say anything about it. Um, or maybe I was just looking a little rough. Who knows? Um, but I had the whole car to myself. Uh, airport wasn't too busy. Uh, found my my flight and I was ready to head out. Um, Victoria's Secret already started with holiday specials, which was cool to see. I always like Cancun Airport. It's always some fun things to be doing over there. Yep, that was me tripping, laughing to myself because I look, I look ridiculous walking around. I can only imagine from other people when uh, vloggers walk around and talk to themselves and film themselves. I'm sorry uh, if you ever came across me, um, but it's it's. I know I'm clumsy, and it's it's just part it's part part of it, and I enjoy doing this for you guys. So it actually took us a minute to find a taxi. It was a little confusing with the different zones and everything and you had to buy tickets, uh, but made it out and I was starving yet again because I only had some nuts on the, on the flight. So I had some food and got ready once again for the festival. This is the festival outfit that I wore and I should have brought my jacket. I know that now. Um, but I thought it was going to be warm. Very ignorant of me. Uh, also, look at the size of that drink. It was huge. And thank God I got to borrow a jacket. So I didn't have to freeze to death, even though I'm a Viking. Uh, Alejandro, it was so much fun. He's such a good performer. Everyone was going crazy. You see how much people it is. 
uh, the vibes were just absolutely amazing. And after that, it started to get really, really trippy. Um, first time ever experiencing uh, watching Tame Impala. I think that's how you say it, live. Uh, and that was just amazing, but it was so trippy. I mean, look at this. I was just like mesmerized by it and everyone else seemed to be that as well, but their light show was amazing the company i had was amazing everyone was so much fun i met so many new cool people um so this i don't have a lot of footage from it but this <laughs> that night was just absolutely amazing um after that i headed to my new hotel uh, which some of you might have seen before uh, i've done a vlog about it as well but i just needed to show you guys for anyone that missed out on it, this was my view and it was absolutely gorgeous. This hotel actually make it to the list of top 10 hotels I've ever stayed at. Uh, with the, the view from the pool, mountains and everything was very neat and clean. Uh, I definitely coming back to this hotel, uh, already planning to go to go back there because I just fell in love with the people and the, the venues and the, everything that Monterey had to offer. And what added to my experience was that they showed all Harry Potter movies in Spanish. So with me trying to learn Spanish plus Harry Potter, very good, very, very good. Um, some footage from me when I was hanging out by the pool. Uh, it was really empty, it was barely any people as you can see. And that was it for like almost the entire stay I was there. Um, so I don't know if it's the season, I don't know if it was because the festival was just over and everyone left, um, but it was, it was nice. Felt like I had a private pool. And I found this cute little restaurant. Uh, it was something pride, something else pride. It was so yummy and the staff was amazing. Just look at this. Yeah, you saw me almost dropping my phone there. Um, because I, I, I didn't think it was coming to me. I took up my phone to record it, uh, just to get some footage of it, but I didn't know it was actually for me. So that was actually very nice of them. So this is the two days after, I think, uh, I was heading out yet again. Um, don't have much clothes, like I said, so I went with the same outfit. Okay, so I'm actually wearing my Pretendio shoes and my my Louis Vuitton bag, my tiny one that comes with multiple pieces, it's my all-time favorite one. But I think this was, I think this is gonna look good together. I'm ready for a night out in the town and drink some wine and just enjoy what Monterey has to offer. So let's go! As you probably saw in the beginning of the video, I was very tired when I was packing and I actually just packed stuff to do content for you guys. I didn't really pack a lot to be out and about and wearing uh, at restaurants and stuff, but I had laundry service because I was actually in Monterey for a while, so it actually worked out nicely. Um, so I'm not, I'm not complaining. Uh, but the area was just super cool. Like it felt like I was in like a major big city, which Monterey might actually be, and it felt very felt very expensive everything felt very expensive so if i'm coming back i might uh, dress up a little bit more now it's just a little bit more chill and low-key and i'll know for for the future definitely um, but i really like the night vibes that they had going on here And they have started to decorate for Christmas. This Rolls Royce was actually really 
really really cool uh, to see and found this other restaurant uh, that was actually really nice a Japanese restaurant and I love myself some Japanese food uh, venue was also very nice uh, and the people there treated me very nicely I'm still practicing my Spanish um, but they came and checked on me with the food and everything and we use Google Translate a lot and guys just look at this size of this wine glass i like my wine uh, but i had two glasses of wine and then i actually just headed straight home after because i think i actually drank like a whole bottle maybe they were pouring a little bit extra to me to be nice but i was just so tired and ready to just go to sleep as you could tell morning after was breakfast in bed uh, it's like people can read my mind they gave me a big big coffee maybe I sounded tired when I called them uh, I don't know what I had for breakfast I remember the name of it uh, but I just know it tasted absolutely amazing um, super yummy Mexican people really know how to make good breakfast this breakfast I can't even talk breakfast how do you say it breakfast this breakfast oh my gosh anyhow here i am wearing my one piece that some of you guys might have seen but i just wanted to show you guys again because the color is just so cute okay so i don't know what i was thinking when i was packing um because i did not bring enough clothes thank god for laundry service um heading back someone's knocking on my door is it me Hold on. One moment, por favor. Oh. I need to put something on. God, I need to learn Spanish. I don't. It's such a beautiful language. I love Spanish. I just I haven't been practicing uh, enough lately, uh, so I need to get back on it again because that's my. That's my goal for for upcoming year. I'm gonna be fluent in Spanish because it's it's mwah, chef's kisses. But anyhow, um, they were just asking when I was gonna check out, which I'm doing today in a few hours, uh, heading down to Sephora to get some stuff that I couldn't find in Playa del Carmen. So hopefully I can find it here. Um, we shall we shall see what they what they have to offer uh, but yeah I still have the best view ever so I really don't want to leave but I do love Playa del Carmen as well so yeah let's get started I also kind of realized I can't really wear this uh, when I go out shopping first of all because it's cold and then yeah mostly because it's cold like Monterey is, is actually kind of cold right now um, I didn't bring a lot of t-shirts, uh, but I got them rewashed, so I'm gonna put something just very casual on and then pack up everything because it's... I'm not a messy, I'm not a messy person, um, definitely not messy, you can ask anyone around me, it's just when you're putting on all the clothes and you're excited to show everything, um, everything just kind of everywhere. Um, but yeah, sad to leave Monterey, but I'm excited for a new chapter. Uh, I was gonna say this is what I'm wearing, but it's not, so I'm gonna put something on. Does anyone else hate packing? I absolutely hate packing. And I realized the wine I got, I still have some left, uh, but it's still early to start drinking wine, I feel like, if it was a spicy margarita, then yeah, but wine. But then again, I don't believe in weight, so. Decisions, decisions. Hmm. What do you guys think? Why am I so shaky? Maybe I was gonna say maybe I need a coffee, but that's exactly what I don't see. The coffee would be nice. I need to stop shaking. Oh my god! I actually had the wine and just kind of lay down and rested a little. Uh, sometimes that's okay. I knew I had a, uh, some travel to do during the day, but then I just decided to. Just get my ass up and go out and about and do some shopping. Hey, 
And you know what time it is. It's Starbucks time. Uh, but first, heading out to the Swedish H&M because I needed to get some new masks. I stole mine, the one I have from Lou, and I definitely needed some, some I can exchange with uh, and match my outfits a little bit more. But look at all the Christmas decoration, like they are ready for the holidays. Uh, this was a whole store just dedicated to like Christmas stuff. And I didn't go in shopping because I was traveling, uh, but I went to Starbucks and they had Christmas decoration as well and i got my i got my coffee so patreons that actually got me this one thank you so much for the coffee uh, coffee break and for everyone that's following me on my other social medias um you guys rock you guys are the best comment down below if you are with me in some other ones Okay, so I was alone in the bathroom, so I was like, let me record uh, some of the stuff I got. I thought this was going to be a cute video. I was going to show everything that I got and just put on my setting spray. Um, just wanted to show you how it was done and it did not go well. Let's see how well this one works now because, you know, it'll be all shiny looking. So let's go. Nothing is happening. No. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. And I just sprayed everything down on my phone. That looks amazing. Why is it... Yo, this one looks like it has some color to it. Okay, okay, let's try again. I don't think this is it, guys. <laughs> Long lasting makeup setting spray. What is it? What did just happen? don't know what happened I shook it well I promise uh, you guys saw me shake it uh, and it didn't come off that was the whole issue like it got dried up like super quickly so whatever it was it did not want to come off without like really rubbing it I can't get it off <laughs> what's that I'm in shock okay I think it, I think I got it off I'm scared to spray now, to be honest, because now it looks good, right? Why is it still getting, what is this? Okay, I think we can all agree that stuff like that only happens to me. <laughs> but now we're ready. That was my dedication. I actually did <laughs> do it multiple times just to get it on video because uh, I told you guys I was gonna spray it on and I did spray it on. Uh, my flight got delayed, unfortunately. So I was sitting at a restaurant just waiting for hours and hours and having some, some drinks and was just so tired and ready to go home. Finally made it home. I am exhausted and now I'm just gonna sit here and I have to take the makeup off um, but at least I'm gonna be sleeping cute look at this little thing I got so I'm gonna look fashionable when I'm sleeping but I'm just so so tired <sighs> and I don't think the the uh, setting spray Past. Please look at this. Too shiny. Too shiny. Oh my god. Yeah, time to time to hit bed and go to sleep. I wish I had a glass of wine I could take right now. And a little recap. This is the apartment I am staying in. So pretty. 
and that was it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed this vlog and uh, taking you guys around in monterey and for the music festival and all that stuff uh, combined let me know if you want to see more of this content uh, and i will see you guys very soon don't forget to subscribe down below it means the world to me and i love you guys mm -hmm. Da 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 da